In this video, I will show you how you can install full Bazite OS on a persistent USB drive. Bazite is a SteamOS inspired Linux distribution that can work on the Steam Deck and also on your desktop PC. At the time of recording, it's even better than SteamOS because it includes the latest kernel and also the latest drivers, including the NVIDIA GPU drivers, which SteamOS does not include. So if you own a Steam Deck, then maybe it makes sense to switch to Bazite instead. Or if you always wanted a SteamOS-like Linux distribution for your desktop PC that uses an NVIDIA GPU, then you can try it out as well. In this video, we will install Bazite OS on a USB drive, and that means that you can boot and run it from the USB drive basically on any machine. In previous videos, I installed many Linux distributions on a USB drive, like Ubuntu, Manjaro, Linux Mint, Kali Linux, Pop OS, and DevOS, Chrome OS, and the list goes on and on, and I probably also covered your favorite distro. So for instance, if you are interested how to install Fedora on a USB drive, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. But before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. I'm here on the official Bazite OS GitHub page, and here it says that Bazite is based on Fedora, which is a fantastic Linux distribution, and then it continues listing all the cool features that you get with Bazite. In a nutshell, this includes performance optimizations, Android app support using Wagedroid, the Nix package manager, which is an interesting one, also various hardware support, drivers and useful goodies. It is also important to mention that Bazite uses the immutable file system approach and that means that applications will be installed using Flatpak or using Nix in this case. And I also mention that if you want you can rebase your Fedora Silverblue which has an immutable file system to Bazite, which is also an interesting idea. Enough talking, let's see how to install this one. First we need the ISO and here is the link. And now here, you will find a few warnings here, and the first one is that you cannot use Bazite on a Steam Deck with a 64GB eMMC. For us it doesn't matter because we will use it on a desktop PC. The second one is that you cannot dual boot with SteamOS or other Linux distributions. We will install it solo on a USB drive, so for us this doesn't matter. And it says that you will need a stable network connection. Now let's find the ISO. This is the latest one. Let's download. It has only 685 megabytes. Download complete. Here is the ISO. This is the ISO with the installer and first we need to flash this one on a USB drive. Then we will use this USB drive and install Bazite OS on a second USB drive. So yes, you will need two USB drives. The first USB drive with this ISO can be any off-the-shelf stick, it doesn't really matter. But the second one where we will install the full Bazite OS on should be a more faster one. It should have a decent read-write speed and since this is an OS for gamers, it should also be fairly large. I will use one with 128GB and for playing games this is like a minimum. It should also be very fast because otherwise your system will be very slow and you will get really frustrated. It doesn't matter if you have the newest and greatest PC if the USB drive with the operating system is the bottleneck. So get a decent USB drive or maybe a fast external hard drive will do as well. Now with that said, let's flash this one on the first USB drive and therefore we will use a tool called Rufus. This is Rufus, the official website, and I use this tool in almost every Linux installation video so far. So if you've been following me, then you already know how this one works. Scroll down, click on the link, download complete, let's open it. Here it is. Now let's plug in the first USB drive, the off-the-shelf stick. I will do it as well. It already recognized my USB drive. And I'll select the ISO. Here it is. Open. I will leave everything else on default and select Start. I will go with the ISO image mode and OK. I will format it. And now it warns us that everything that is currently on the USB drive will be deleted. So if you have anything important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there, so I will just continue. And now let's wait. Finished. Let's close it. The USB drive with the installer is now ready and now we need to boot into it. As in my previous Linux installation videos, I will assume that you know how to boot from an USB drive. 
you plug in the USB drive, you restart the system, and then while it is restarting, you press one of the function keys. Usually it's F11 or F12, it depends on your PC manufacturer. And then you will get the boot menu and inside the menu, select your USB drive and it should boot into it. I will do the same on my machine as well, and I'll see you after the reboot. I'm now inside the grub menu of the Bezite OS installer, and here you have a few installation options. You can choose the default Bezite OS, this one has the KDE desktop environment. The second one in addition includes the Nvidia drivers. The third one is meant to be used on the Steam Deck. And then you have the same thing also using the GNOME desktop environment. I'm using an AMD GPU and since Fedora is default GNOME, I would rather choose GNOME here. And I really want to see how the Steam Deck version actually looks like on the desktop. So I will choose the last one, Bezite Deck GNOME, enter, install it and install again. And here we are inside the Fedora installer. I will go with the defaults, so English is OK, continue. Now we need to complete all the items with this warning triangle. So let's go keyboard, English is OK, done, date and time, location is OK, user creation, fill out your user information, done. And the most important one, installation destination. Now it's the right time to plug in the second USB drive for the full Bazite installation. I will do it as well and click on refresh down here. Rescan disks and OK. Now select the USB drive that you just plugged in. In my case, this is the one. And make sure that everything else is deselected. Now, one important thing everything that is on this USB drive will be deleted. So, if you have anything important on there, make a backup first. If there are some partitions on the USB drive, then make sure to check free up space by removing or shrinking existing partitions. So, make sure to check it. But in my case, this one has no partitions on it, so I will uncheck it and click Done. And now the last important thing that I want to mention, make sure that you're connected by wire or make sure that you have a very stable Wi-Fi connection, because unfortunately, otherwise the installer will fail. We are ready, so let's select Begin installation. This can take some time. Perfect, installation completed. Now we can restart and boot into this newly installed Bazite OS. Again, while the system is restarting, open the boot menu and select the USB drive with Bazite OS. I will do the same on my machine as well, and I'll see you after the reboot. And here we are inside Bazite OS, and as you can see, Steam is already updating. We also got this welcome screen, so let's click through it. First, we need to sign Bazite, so let's do it. Signing complete, let's go next. Setting up Bazite. Here you can add different things if you want. The only thing that I will add is the Nix package manager, which will install Nix and Fleek. Save it. Everything else I will leave on default and install. Write the password, maybe a few times. And next. Here you can add different applications. For instance, if you want a different web browser, for me, Firefox is OK. The only thing that I will choose here is under Gaming, Heroic Game Launcher, and Save, Install, Installation Complete. Now let's change the GNOME theme. Definitely better. Next. All done. Now we need to restart, and I will do it as well. So restart. And here we are. Welcome to Bazite Steam Deck Edition. As you can also see, Steam has already started. Let's click this away. Next. And I will log in into Steam. And now let's go full screen. Welcome to Steam Deck. Let's tap this away. Have fun. And look at that. Almost like the Steam Deck. And that's it, you can take this USB drive to basically any machine you want, plug it in and boot into Bazite OS. If you like my videos and also want to support me, I also have a Patreon page. I really appreciate all the support I get and it's because of your support that I can make videos like this one. So thank you very much and the link to Patreon is up there or down in the description.
In a previous video, I showed you how you can set up the Heroic Game Launcher from scratch and we also did a Windows vs Linux gaming performance comparison. So if you want to know which platform is better for gaming, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. And that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then like and subscribe. And if you really like the video, then you also have a super thanks down there, where you can buy me a coffee for instance, so I can make more of those awesome videos. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.